everybody, it's Lo, and welcome back to my channel, Lo Without Limits. In this video, I'm going to break down if recycled plastic clothing is truly sustainable. So if you wanna see that, then just keep watching. Before I get started, I just wanna say that I'm trying a new lens, and I played around with some of the settings on my camera to try to make my videos look nicer. So it seems like it looks nicer, but who actually knows? And to deal with the shadow from the light, I currently have a little light hanging on the door handle. So we'll see how this actually turns out. But back to the point of the video, in the sustainability and low waste space, July has been come to know be known as Plastic Free July. And while reducing plastic is super important, there is already a lot of plastic that's out circulating in the environment, in the oceans and in landfills. And as time goes on, a lot of companies have been looking at ways to recycle this plastic to take this trash and make it into something new and new recycled materials to create fabrics and different items that you can wear and use in your daily life. So while it seems like a really good idea, I wanted to dive deeper into the pros and cons of buying clothing and different items that are made from recycled plastic and recycled water bottles as well as fishing nets and to see if it really is a sustainable alternative to other clothing options. Many brands are incorporating recycled plastic fabrics into their already existing clothing lines but a few companies have their whole basis on using these recycled materials for all of their products. Two that immediately come to mind are Girlfriend Collective, which makes activewear and uses a lot of different recycled materials and will even say how many plastic bottles went into your pair of leggings or into your scrunchie or your socks and so on and so forth. And another brand that immediately comes to mind, which I'm sure you've heard of if you've listened to any podcast ever, is Rothy's. So they make a bunch of different shoes like sneakers and flats and different slides from recycled water bottles into their shoes that are like super simple and machine washable. Before jumping into the pros and cons, I just want to break down how plastic bottles and fishing nets and other plastic materials become different fabrics. The plastic that they use to recycle into these fabrics is plastic number one or PEAT. So if you look at the bottom of your water bottle, it will have the little triangle with the number one, and that's just the type of polymer it is. And PEAT stands for polyethylene terephthalate and it's what they will use to make clothing fibers from the recycled materials as well as virgin clothing fibers that are plastic based. So to make the recycled peat or it's often known as our peat when you're looking at different brands and they're showing off what's made from recycled plastic bottles it'll show up as our PET. They will take these number one recycled bottles and other materials that fit into that category. They will break it down, they'll clean it up, make sure there's no gunk on there, break it down into these little micro pellets, and then they will melt that together and make it into a very fine string that then in turn becomes the recycled polyester, recycled nylon. So now that we know how this recycled plastic material is made, let's jump straight into the pros of it. Let's start it off with all the good stuff about this. While it's still plastic, virgin plastic is much worse in the sense that it's using a lot of energy to produce it and is using non-renewable resources like petroleum to create the polymers to make it into something usable. And by using, by using recycled plastic, we're reducing the need for more virgin plastic and in turn reducing the need for more oil and more oil extraction to create the petroleum to make the plastic. Another pro is that the process of making these materials from recycled plastic is a lot less energy intensive than doing it from virgin plastic. So not only is virgin plastic using the non-renewable resources of more petroleum, more oil, but it's also requiring a lot more energy, which also comes from oil, and creating a lot more greenhouse gases and has having a higher carbon emission versus creating the materials from recycled plastic, which will have a lower carbon footprint. And most of these companies, since they're already focused on using a recycled plastic material, will also be using less toxic dyes and just cleaner resources to dye the products than they would if they were just mass producing plastic materials. In a very recent video, I talked about how plastics don't often get recycled and because there's so many plastics that are put into the recycling bin and they're too expensive to deal with and it's cheaper to make virgin plastic water bottles and things like that, they often just end up in the landfill. And according to Five Gyres, 
There are over 5 trillion pieces of plastic of all different sizes floating in the oceans, which comes up to about 700 plastic pieces for every human on Earth, which is, there's over 7 billion people. So that's just oceans, not including landfill waste. So another pro is that as more companies are using recycled plastic to make their materials, is that it's giving a bigger and growing market to use all these water bottles that uh, right now aren't really going anywhere and just end up in the landfill even though we put them in the recycling bin now there's a bigger market for it and although it does cost a bit more so these items may have a slightly higher cost than buying leggings that are made from virgin polyester so there might be a higher cost to it but it's also creating this market for all of those things that we are recycling but have nowhere really to go to finally have a use and to be put towards something else. So it is diverting it from the landfills, from the oceans, and giving it a true second life as you recycle your water bottle. Another small pro that I thought of, and this one is a bit iffy because it is still greenwashing in a way, is that as companies are using more recycled materials for their fabrics, yes it is greenwashing people into thinking that they're making super great choices for the environment but at the same time i think it's beneficial in the way that it's getting more consumers to think about what's in their clothing and to think about what materials and fabrics are making up their clothing and are being more aware of microplastics which i will get to as my first con in just a moment but while it's not the solution, it is getting consumers to think a little bit more and to consider a lot more of what is in their clothes and how to move forward into more sustainable shopping habits. And as more consumers do get more involved in this space and do learn more about it, it's also putting more money into these companies that are utilizing these different recycled materials, which can in turn lead to more innovation to make it even cleaner, even safer, even more inexpensive and in terms of recycling the clothing which is another con that I will get to. So now to the cons. While it is recycled plastic it is still plastic and no matter what the clothing is, this even happens to cotton and linen and hemp, but fibers will always come off when things are being tumbled around in the wash and plastic based fibers are no different. I've talked about it multiple times here and as these things are getting tossed around, microplastics will come off of these plastic-based materials, recycled or not, and will get washed away into the water, directly into the water system every time we wash our clothes in the form of microplastics, which are everywhere in our environment. There's no avoiding them. Nothing can filter them out. So it is in our drinking water. It is in our food. And while there's no way to reduce it once it's in there, we can reduce the amount that makes it into the environment. Currently, washing machines don't have filters to take out all of these microplastics. And even if newer ones do, that would mean everybody in the world would have to have a newer washing machine. So the solution for now are things like the Guppy Friend, which you can put anything that is a plastic-based material. So all your activewear, anything with spandex, polyester, nylon, put it in this and throw that in the wash. And then there are also filters if you're able to add a filter onto the back of your washing machine. It's a bit bigger, but if you can do that, then that's a different option. So everything will go through that filter and not just for whatever you put in the guppy friend. Another con is how hard it is to recycle these clothes and make them into something new afterwards. So a bottle can be recycled into a bottle, which can be recycled into a bottle and into another bottle about five to seven times before the plastic becomes too weak to be reusable. When you turn a bottle into a pair of leggings, it's gonna stay that same pair of leggings. It's gonna stay that same pair of shoes. So yes, you can sell it, you can donate it, you can give it a second or third life by having somebody else use it afterwards. But even if they sell it afterwards, it's always gonna be that pair of leggings. It's always gonna be that shoe. And there's no inexpensive and easy way to take the recycled materials that are making up these clothes and recycle them again in textile to textile recycling. It's nothing that's really possible in a cheap, efficient way right now. So while it is great to be reusing these water bottles, taking them out of the ecosystem and giving them a new life and reducing the amount of plastic out there and giving a new market for all the plastic that is out there and putting it into something new, once it's in that new form, it really can't be recycled 
again. And the final con, in my opinion, is that buying clothes that use recycled plastic also give the consumer an excuse to buy more and not always invest in high quality, super long lasting pieces that are timeless and just don't go with the trends because even if something is made from a recycled material, it's still plastic and you still could easily just get rid of it once it's out of style. The average consumer, again, because of greenwashing, sees that something is made with a recycled polyester and thinks it's cool and great for the environment and just the perfect alternative to buying the other bathing suit that isn't made out of it but they don't realize the downside of the microplastics and that it can't be recycled textile to textile and they'll just toss that old stuff in hopes of buying the new eco-friendly version even though the eco-friendly version still does have some downsides that do need to be considered. Because of people tossing their old but still good things in wanting to buy the new eco-friendly version, it just creates more waste and puts more clothing into the landfill which is another issue so just because there is the eco-friendly alternative out there, don't buy it unless you absolutely need to. In conclusion, using recycled plastic materials is better than virgin plastic, so if you are gonna go out and get yourself a new pair of leggings or a new pair of shoes, doing that is much better than the alternative, but it does still come with its own downfalls of microplastics, and just don't be fooled into thinking that making that purchase is saving the world and is the best solution of all. Natural materials are always the best option like cotton or linen, but not everything works great in cotton or linen. I personally would buy a recycled plastic sports bra like the one I'm wearing now over a cotton one just for the support it provides and same with undergarments and just other certain things like cotton and linen isn't always the best in terms of usability even though it is the best in terms of reducing the plastic problem and the microplastics and when you're washing these materials recycled or not do be sure to use a guppy friend or any other filter to make sure that more microplastics aren't making their way into the environment and yes these materials are taking plastic that would otherwise end up in the landfill or ocean and is giving them a new fresh life but the better solution is to just not use products that could end up in the landfill or ocean anyway it's great that we're taking all these water bottles and making things out of them but the ideal situation especially in honor of plastic free july is just not using the water bottle or the straw in the first place not using plastic fishing nets in the first place. So reducing is definitely better. And again, just stop and think if you really do need this new product, even if it is from recycled materials. So if you stop, think, do I actually need this? And you still do, then yes, buying from a girlfriend, buying something that is the recycled polyester is way better than Lulu, just in terms of the environment in terms of quality and cost as well. I hope you learned something new about recycled plastic clothing. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite brands are that are doing sustainable practices as well as what else you wanna see here on my channel. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe. I upload a new video every Wednesday. So until the next one, thanks for watching.